So my question is uh, to the Premier. The government's Condo Act review panel released its uh, second report yesterday. There's some progress, but for condo owners looking for a quick and cheap way to settle a dispute, the recommendations come up short. The report sets up a condo office to uh, hear disputes. If it's a small matter, the case goes to a quick decision maker and it gets settled. So, so far, so good. But if it's a big matter, then it goes to a dispute resolu resolution office. Lawyers are welcome. And all you get is an assessment, no settlement. And if your dispute is with the developer, the report says the present model works reasonably well. In other words, you're on your own and good luck in court. This process continues to work well for consultants, lawyers and developers, but not for condo owners. Question. Will the government put condo owners first? Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker, and I know the Minister of Consumer Services is going to want to comment on the supplementary, but I just want to make a comment because I want to, first of all, thank the member opposite for raising this, this issue. It's something that many of us, I would say all of us in, uh, in government, hear about the concerns of condominium owners and in that sector the need for changes to the Condominium Act. So I'm very pleased that the uh, member opposite raised the issue. I'm very pleased that we have had the opportunity to put in place a very innovative, I would suggest, and comprehensive consultation exactly. process because it's complex. It's a complex issue, how the, how the Act should change and what's in the best interest of the people who live in all of our constituencies in condominiums, Mr. Speaker. So I'm very pleased that that process is underway, and I look forward to working with the, uh, the member opposite to get some resolution for condominium owners. Speaker, the report says condo owners should pay a levy of up to $36 a year to support the condo of, uh, office, plus user fees. With 600,000 condo units, this office would cost condo owners over $21 million a year. This is about the same net cost as the landlord, te landlord tenant board. But when you go to that board, your disputes get settled quickly and cheaply. This condo office settles the same, the small stuff but for everything else, it's just, it just adds a new process. And when it's over, you're still looking at mediation and arbitration, and then the courts. If condo owners must pay the same cost as the landlord tenant board, shouldn't they get a condo tribunal that can settle all their disputes like the landlord tenant board? Question.